Okay guys, what we're going to do here is some magic square, 4x4 four four magic squares. And I believe I got the yellow here. This is how it's going to go. We're going to make a little box here. Okay. And another box here. That's for our magic square box. That's about there. And we're going to use a brush. Let's see, we're going to make lines. Okay, we're going to split this up in half. Bang, about right there. It's half, and then another half, and then another half. Notice it's already four. I'm going to split that up in half again because we want eight boxes. That's one, two, three, and four. Notice we got eight. Now we're going to split that in half again. The reason why I'm doing it like this is easier, okay? <coughs> going to do the same thing for our four by four here. 4x4 four four obviously is line here. And if you see another line here, and then we're going to split the whole thing up again. Line here. Okay. A line here. And another line here. You'll see this formula like a 4x4 four four square. Bingo. Here we go. Now what you're going to see here, we're going to start putting numbers. If you count down from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is where you're going to start. 0, 1, 2, 3, put numbers all the way up there, okay? We're going to start with the yellow one, okay? We're going to get ink, pencil, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to start right here, 0, okay? 1, 2, 3, see it? We're going clockwise. You notice from here all the way around. Clockwise you're going to go all the way around. Five, six, seven. You notice how these numbers are forming? The pairs of numbers? Zero, seven, one, six. See it? That's what you need for here, okay? Then keep going. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, and last but not least, 15. Now what we're going to do, inside here, inside here, the magic square, we're going to start off on the bottom left, on the bottom left hand side here, which is going to be this sequence here. This sequence, we're going to start, 0, 7, 0, 7. We're going to use this here and put it, you're going to skip one, two squares like that and jump in here. One, six. You see the pattern? You put a number, you skip two, you put it there. You skip a number and here's the next one, okay? Which is, obviously, two, five. Simple, right? You're going to skip one and here you're going to put another number, which is three, four. Okay, now you notice that we went counterclockwise. I mean, oops, I made a little line there. Let's undo the little line. We went counterclockwise, the opposite of clock. And now we're going to start here and go clockwise on the squares that are missing. And this time we have to exit because it's already got a number there. So you just got to jump here and here and here and here. Okay, so now we're going to start here. Here we go 12, 11. 12, 11, okay? Now 13, 10. 13, 10, okay? And the next one, 14, 9. 1, 4, 14, 9, okay? And the next one, last but not least, like they say, 15, 8. 1, 5, 8. And what you got here is a magic square. All these add up to 30, all these, any which way you do I don't care which way you take it. Even if you take the four squares in here, you'll get 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 everywhere. And that's what it is. 30 right here, 30 right here, 30 right here, 30 right here, 30 right here. Ah, that's 30. <laughs> you got yourself a magic square. All by 
Luis Diaz. Thanks, guys. And spread it around. Practice with it. I had one of these magic squares, and I analyzed it, and what I came up with was this little chart here for easy recognition of the sequence of numbers, the pairs of numbers. So just remember, it's counterclockwise here. See it? Clockwise here, sorry. Clockwise here, and then you start counterclockwise here, and then clockwise here, okay? That's it. Enjoy your 4x4 magic square.